In the main event of UFC Vegas 14, Rafael dos Anjos defeated Paul Felder via split decision. After the fight, he called out Conor McGregor and said he wants to fight him next. Here's how the MMA community reacted to the fight. Angela Hill tweeted, awesome fight. Always bittersweet when you have two really good guys and amazing fighters. But I loved RDA's reign as a champion and wouldn't mind seeing it again. Feel like Felder earned himself a rematch if that happens as well. Tatiana Suarez tweeted, five days notice and fought an animal like Dos Anjos, that's crazy. Paul Felder, what a legend. Bilal Mohammed tweeted, Dos Anjos did what he had to do, but man so much respect for Paul Felder. Never stop fighting for five hard rounds. Michael Chiesa tweeted, great main event. Proud of my colleague and friend Paul Felder for stepping up and fighting hard from bell to bell. Congrats on the W as well, Rafael Dos Anjos. Both guys are great ambassadors of the sport and great men in life. Gilbert Burns tweeted, split decision, really? Holy <laughs> what are freaking judges. Daniel Comey tweeted, great fight by Rafael Dos Anjos. He fought the perfect fight. Big ups to my main man, Paul Felder, for taking this fight under these circumstances. Paul Felder, this is why you're loved, my man. And Conor McGregor tweeted, respect to both men for making this fight and event happen tonight. Good fight. I'm in for sure. He followed up with Dustin first, but I'm down for it all. Throwback to this classic, lol. Look at Dana, vintage MMA entertainment, Al Chap. With UFC 256 losing its main event, Tony Ferguson has now offered to save the event and recently called out Michael Chandler. He posted this on his Twitter saying, Time to rise. Hashtag Darth Knight rises again. Let's close out 2020 in style. Michael Chandler, you puts. You asked for it. Hashtag added to the list, bish. December. He followed up with hashtag UFC 256 main event. At Dana White, you said 2020 has been for many. Let's make it a little better again. Let's give them what they want. The fans deserve this. Hashtag Pandemic Games. Tough 13 champ at UFC at Sean Shaobi. A three-run welterweight bout between Carlos Conde versus Matt Brown has been targeted for UFC card on January 30th. Carlos Conde is coming off a unanimous decision win over Court McGee and Matt Brown is coming off a TKO loss to Miguel Baeza. A three-run featherweight bout between Cub Swanson versus Daniel Pineda has been targeted for UFC 256. Cub Swanson is coming off a unanimous decision win over Cron Gracie and Daniel Pineda is coming of a TKO win over Herbert Burns. Michael Bisping on the Believe in Me podcast speaks on Leon Edwards saying that he doesn't understand the hype surrounding Hamzat Chimaev. Hamzat Chimaev is taking on now Leon Edwards. We spoke about that for a while. This week, uh, see if you can bring up the quote, Brian, whilst I uh, teed up. So Leon Edwards did an interview with Daryl Hawani and he said he doesn't understand all the hype from about surrounding Hamza right now, right? He said, listen, I, I, I was nine, you know, before, fair point. In fact, you don't need to, Brian, because I think, I think I remember the key points because I retweeted it myself and I said, well, you can't disagree with what Leon said. It was BT Sport retweeted it or tweeted it, I retweeted it. He said, I was 9-0 before. I was undefeated in the UFC before. I've had a seven second knockout before, which I think seven or nine, seven, nine seconds, seven seconds. You give I think it was seven. It's a fast knockout. Either yeah. way, seven, nine, 15, whatever you want to call it. The first round, it was quick. So what he's saying is everything that Hamza Chimaev has, I've done before, right? So, you know, he, he doesn't understand the hype. I understand Leon's point of view there, and Leon's got to do what he's got to do. He's got to strip him down mentally. He can't look at him and he can't put Hamza on a pedestal. He can't look at it, this guy that has all the hype. He's got to say, no, f this guy. He's, he's nothing. I've done exactly what he has done. But um, there is a lot of hype around Hamza, and I think it's for good reason. It is for good reason, right? There was two fights in Fight Island, and they were opponents that definitely favoured Hamza style. He's a very, very good wrestler by all accounts. Uh, and as we found out, he's a very good striker as well. Drop J.O. Mirichal with one shot. I just don't know if Leon had that kind of hype. I don't remember. Now, we're saying that, hold on. It was the perfect storm for Hamza as well. He was on Fight Island, right? Dana then raved about him. And then he had the balls to fight again, what? Like, like a week later or 10 days later. So we got all these headlines. Anytime anybody fights in two days and destroys two opponents in two days. And then Dana, rightly so, he loves fighters that come to fight. Anytime Dana is, you know, promoting promoting them at the press conference, you're gonna get hyped. Then he comes over to Vegas, steps up a weight class to middleweight, and then knocks him out, Mirichar, with one shot. The champs. Early morning jog, and this is my ride.
when do you see yourself with the belt? Good question. I think, I think a fight's going to materialize in the next couple months, December, January, not December. I mean, December is kind of out of the question at this point because it's only a couple weeks away, but probably January. I'm going to beat a top five opponent. I'm going to immediately be the, the next guy in line for the title or I will be fighting for an interim title if Khabib is or isn't coming back. I mean, we just don't know. The good thing is Dana White, Hunter Campbell, Sean Shelby, Nick Maynard, these guys know what they're doing. They are they, they are running the biggest mixed martial arts sports franchise in the in the world. They do a really good job at it. And they're going to uh, they're going to make some fights, and they're going to hopefully make somebody fight me. And then you know when that happens, you can't make anybody fight, obviously. But you know they're going to hopefully incentivize somebody to fight me, and then then we'll get we'll get moving forward. Either way, man, I'm excited to be fighting for the UFC. I just I truly believe I will be the UFC champion in the next uh, the next ten months. You know, um, depending on if Khabib sticks around or um, I have to fight two or three guys to get there. We'll see. Training our back as normal, nothing changed. Everything keeps the same. Of course, I am uh, I'll, really disappointed in myself and uh, with the result. But, uh, but hey, it is what it is. And um, my coach Kavanaugh says you win or learn. And uh, with no doubt, this defeat will make me go to the top and will give me the tools that I need to get to the top. Nothing changed. Uh, for the ones that love me and hate me, I'm still the same Peter that says that he's the best in the world and I'm gonna prove that he's the best in the world. Nothing changed. Thank you, uh, thank you everyone for the support, for the amazing support. It's been amazing and it's a blessing to see all the fantastic uh, support you gave me. Thank you very much, guys. I'll be back. Just renewed my uh, membership at the local club. And, uh, you know, got November happening here. So I'm going to be stuck with this uh, card, with this note for the next three years. And uh, look at this. Is that Chuck Liddell? Chop a reed, Chuck Liddell, I don't know. <laughs> you know what? We're going to do it again. I'm going to bring him down here. Just for the record, it's a horseshoe, not handlebars, so I got that wrong. But we're going to bring it back and we're going to keep it, I reckon. Yo, just a quick shout out to everyone doing Movember this year. Whether you are doing the mo to raise money, uh, whether you are donating money, or whether you're just sharing uh, you know, the knowledge, sharing uh, what people post, that all uh, makes a difference. It's about awareness, and you're all doing your part. Uh, so I thank you guys for that. And again, just a shout out to every single one of you. Uh, and, you know, just... It, it's definitely needed, you know what I mean? The, the numbers that you see, the stats, you know, seven men you know, take their own life uh, every day, uh, which is just crazy. And then you look at the stats with uh, how many men get themselves checked, you know, for testicle cancer or prostate cancer. So, uh, you know, we, we want, we need, you know, we need to look after our, you know, men's health as well as mental health. So make sure you guys get yourself uh, checked. Make sure you're uh, talking to someone. It's not weak to speak. Remember that.